So our last topic that we're going to discuss is mathematical induction. And I just picked one example to go over. So let's prove the following. Prove that 2 divides 3 to the n minus 1 for all n for all integers n greater than or equal to 0. So remember for induction there's two parts to induction. There's the basis step where you prove that it's true for an initial value. So here my initial value is n equals 0. So 2 divides 3 to the 0 minus 1 because 2 divides 2. So maybe for n equals 0. So the statement is true when n equals 0. So now we're going to do the inductive step. So you're going to assume it's true for some value k. Assume 2 divides 3 to the k minus 1 for k greater than or equal to 0. And you want to prove it's true for the when n equals k plus 1, the next value. So because 2 divides this value, then 3 to the k minus 1 equals 2 times m for some m and z. Now what you're going to do, so I'm not outlining the proof, I'm just writing the proof down. You might want to consider doing an outline for the inductive step. If I solve for 3 to the k, I get 2 to the m plus 1. So we're going to multiply, multiplying by 3, we get 3 to the k plus 1 equals 6m plus 3. And I can break this down as 3 to the k plus 1. This is 6m plus 2 plus 1. So I broke down this 3 into 2 plus 1 and subtract 1 and 1, and uh, 3 to the k plus 1 minus 1 equals 6m plus 2. So we have that 3 to the k plus 1 minus 1 equals 2, 3 to the m plus 1. Therefore, 2 divides 3 to the k plus 1 minus 1. And we've shown the, that the statement is true for the next value for k plus 1. And so this completes our inductive step. And we've established that this is true. This formula is true for all values of n greater than or equal to 0.